Good morning, Sunday, day of the Lord, February 9, 2020. O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for He is the Lord, our God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for the help, and He will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusations, and malicious speech. If you bestow your bread, bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, the light shall rise for, for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm 112. The just man is light in the darkness to the upright. Together, the just man is light in the darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well, for the man who is gracious and lends, who conduct his affairs with justice. Together, the just man is a light in the darkness to the upright. He shall never be moved. To the just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The Lord, man, the just man is light in darkness to the upright. His heart is steadfast. He should not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. Injustice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The just man its light in the darkness to the upright. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mysteries of God, I did not come with sublimity of word or our art of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling. And my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom but with demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I am the light 
of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can be seasoned? It's no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor did the light a lamp and then put under a bushel basket. It is set on the lampstand. What it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others, that they might see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to all. In this amazing day of the Lord, and before we start the reflection, we are going to do the prayer that our Father gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it's in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Good morning, brothers. Again, we meet Sunday, day of the Lord, day to go and directly to our temples. You know, RC, Roman Catholic. And Give one knee, if you cannot give both, give one knee to the sign of the cross, and then do as we do, and we hear today on the gospel. Be the light, and just be the light of God. Today, we start with something that I want to repeat it one more time on the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clutter the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break for light the dawn, and your wounds shall quickly be healed. And then we ask ourselves, wounds be healed? So what is the definition of that? So we know that we, ha we are sinners, you know, uh, our, our nature is, we are sinners. We gotta admit that first. And we know that we have done things wrong. And we, we, in our soul, you don't see it, but every time you do something against you, you're, you have so many wounds and they're wide open. And the Lord is just already telling us through the prophet Isaiah, how to heal all these things. And then he gave us something else because when you call the Lord, the Lord will answer. The Lord will answer because the Lord sees you. He sees your heart, the good deeds that you're doing, and then you should cry for help and he will say, here I am, here I am. Some of them, the, the us, that we like, where are you? you know, why you took my father? Why you took my mother? And then we start crying and 
forget about the God and, and, and probably that person, it was his time to go. And we gotta let it go. And then we'll cry for help. And he will say, here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, wow, false accusations and malicious speech. If you best of your bread with the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, the light shall rise for you and the darkness and the gloom shall become for you like a midday. So that we don't realize that, but in our life, in these days, we are living every single day. Even if we take the politicians and we just put them out there and we hear what the Lord is telling us, it's like they read so many books, but they haven't read the Bible. Especially our Nancy Pelosi, that she says it's Catholic. How? You know, Jesus teaching us, you know, you get slapped on one cheek, he tells us to do what? Just put the other one. <laughs> oh my God. And in today's second reading, we hear Paul, you know, Paul, he was, you know, scared, trembling, and he went to talk to these people. But remember Paul, Paul was a student of Gamaliel. Gamaliel, one of the one of the highest, you know, priests, the teacher of the era. Starting to mark Gamaliel, it was like uh, I don't know universities allow around here, but like Columbia University, even if it's a little liberal. But let's say Columbia University is the highest top notch in New York. So Paul was starting there. You know, and whatever br brings out whoever graduates from there is he knows what he's talking about. So Paul, even he was a, a, a student of the feet of Gamaliel, we hear here how humble he is. And tell the Corinth, uh, Corinthians, yes, the Corinthians are not coming here with the wisdom of the man. But it's something very important here. With the spirit and the power of God. Spirit and the power of God. Something that today, a lot of people want to hide the power of God. How can you want to hide the power of God? And just start talking with wisdom of men. Oh, no, no, no. And they start, you know, saying so many things. And now they don't realize that we, we are not longer what you think you, we are because we didn't went to study theology. But uh, my friends, we have the Word of God. And it tells us right here. And all these colleges, I don't know, even though uh, this many priests, new priests, they are becoming something else with their own wisdom. Father Martin with the LGTB group it wants to change whatever it says on the doctrine of the catechism of the doctrine of our faith. <laughs> like it's nothing. Like a 2,000 years old, they were all, all wrong for 2,000 years. I got the new wisdom. And, and listen, Father Martin, we're not following the wisdom of you. We're following the wisdom of God. Even Paul said that today. Today he says that here. This is the power of God, not ours. And he said, I... For I resolved not to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of window and wisdom. And He could have used these persuasive words of wisdom because He was a student. 
children of Gamaliel. One of the one of the, the many ones who could really use it was him, because he knew what he was what he was talking about. But he didn't do that. He says it here for all of us. But with a demonstration, listen at this, with a demonstration of the Spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human, not on you, Father Martin and Father, is, um, um, uh, actually it's a bishop in, in, in Mexico, also <sighs> doing some crazy things in Germany. And if we continue, it's, it's all over. It's, 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 it's like becoming the coronavirus in the inside the, 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 the Catholic Church. Because, you know, they don't follow what is in the scriptures. It says on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The power of God. Something that these days, the people don't want to talk about the power of God. And they don't want to teach about the power of God. Because if they teach about the power of God, you will see a humble person do so many things that you'll be like, why him and not me? I went to college, I have a doctorate degree. And that's what happened with so many different saints. Look at one here. Why he got a broom in his hand? Because he was black in that time. A black person cannot become a priest. But he said, can, can, can I donate myself? And he donated himself. And look at that. We have a saint right here in our... You're right, my love. So Martin Opore. Look at his, his, his life. And you'll see through everything that he went through. The power of God, the Spirit and the power of God did that in his heart. And today we have this many scholar. I mean, if you know more than I do, you should be converting more people. What is it that you're doing? Now we hear in the Amazonia Synod or oh, a vision there and he haven't baptized an Indian. What a good job you're doing for 20, close to 30 years. I bet you you're a little bit thicker than me. Probably. Come on. You have to go in front of God and say, no, this is what I did. 20 years, you didn't baptize an Indian? Oh, but you let the Indians go to the, to, 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 to the Vatican and, and do whatever they did and all these things against our own belief and we're just gonna stay quiet? That's what I love today's gospel. <clears throat> today's gospel is really that. And I'm not gonna talk about politics today, maybe, maybe I will. But in today's gospel, Jesus is telling us, you know, the a high city on the top of the mountain. It's like <clears throat> The movement that I was before, I was, she was here yesterday, yes, right here. And this side, the Virgin of Well in Puerto Rico. And they're gonna build this beautiful image of her, where? In top of the mountain. And people will be like, whoa, for any angles you can see it. It's like the Statue of Liberty. That tall is gonna be, hopefully soon before we die. If we, Put a city like the city of Israel was the top. Everybody was looking at it. Even from other places, from from Africa, far as far as the Queen of hmm, I remember right now uh, came to to even to know the the Solomon wisdom in, in uh, Persia and all this. People came from far away to, to get to know the city on the top, the city of the light. Today, he's telling each one of us, especially us, 
We are supposed to be Catholics. So if we are Catholics, there's a light inside of us. So that's why I love when I go to church on Sunday, I start shaking hands. I don't even know the people, but I shake the hands and I was so happy. And then I go to the choir, start singing or playing the cajon. And I'm like pumped up. Why? Because I'm in the house of my Lord, my God. And we got to act like we do have that light, but there are some people out there they want to change our doctrine. Father Martin, uh, with the LGTB, and, and believe me, as Catholics, there is a teaching about that. Even in our catechism, the numerals, I don't remember right now, 15, 70, 76, 77, 78, 79, I believe, maybe I, I will, I'm wrong. But I'm going to, uh, to tell you that if we have that light, we gotta convince people, stop doing what is sinful. Stop doing what is sinful, what God don't, don't like, because the sinful life will take you to a different place. Let's just not say hell, because people will be like, oh, I mean, he mentioned the word, but it, it's just true. These days, uh, in the back, Vatican City, knowing about this presidential from Argentina, knowing that he's living in adultery, and, and, and he comes and takes the communion like it's not nothing, and the, and the bishop just give it to him like it's what is what is going on? Are we just gonna lower our standards? Oh yes, God. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Let's just lower our God's standards for everybody else to come in. It's not the way. It's not the way. A light should be bright and the darkness will go dissipate. That's why, and I'm not talking about politics here, but we know this thing that just happened uh, on, the, on, the, on the speech of the, of the president in the USA. And I know some other people probably listening from China this this reflection I know for a fact one Chinese woman is, is probably looking at this and she have also a channel on YouTube um, so if we do ask this person that says she is Catholic and she prays for the president but then in front of the whole world rip the paper like it's like it, you are like, you are, and it's true, you know, uh, uh, Catholics, we are all sinners, and, and we fall, and it's true, we fall, you know. A good thing that we have a priest that we, we can go and, and confess our sins and, and, and just repair, like on the first reading of today, repair our healing, you know, our scars. And, 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 and we pray for, for everybody. Listen, even for our own president. Not shaking her hands probably was a thing that he tipped her off in the way that she did what she did. We're not gonna take sides here. If we are light, how can we tell other people's Protestants, Muslim, Hindus, uh, Buddhism, to tell them, listen, there is a God that can die for each one of us. He is Catholic and our actions will convince the rest of the world if we say nothing about the abortion and we just sending people to the to 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 to, to the powers, you know, governor or legislator or senate senators or even the presidency and, and they don't do nothing to avoid these things you know I can say hey I am here and I approve this message but lately who is the only president that visit the pro-life march this year huh? Believe me, they want to take him down because 
he is not, you know, we don't see as a lot of people can see all the different sins that he has done, but what did he says that he will do for, for life, he did it. Taking all this money out from their hands. And hopefully destroy all these laws. And people are gonna be like, oh, we can live no more in America. I cannot do an abortion. Just, you know, move to somewhere else. But that's not the idea. The idea is for you to know there is life inside of you. There is a soul inside of you. Did God give the permission of that being to be here? And you just cut it out. Like it's nothing. That's why us as Catholics, we have failed big time because we are not the light in, in our conversations in, 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 in the kitchen table. You know, oh, they use that in the pol pol politics a lot or everywhere, in the school, at work. Abortion, let them talk, they're like, oh, homosexual, this is the way of homosexuality. Uh, whatever they're doing in their room uh, is their business. Uh, you know, if they're not doing it to me, I'm good with it. And you say, wow, how he said that so clearly? Because I was one who said those things when I was like, on the darkness for many many years didn't care about other people's soul didn't care about their salvation and i know i'm completely wrong completely wrong about it so what can i do if i know that i was wrong and the light just came and slapped me in my face i'll say this light please slap me in this other face like Peter say, when he say, no, no, don't wash my feet. And when Christ say to him, but I don't wash your feet, you had nothing to do in the kingdom of heaven. And he said, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wash my whole thing, my entire body then. <laughs> and he said, no, only the feet. And there was a meaning of that, washing the feet on the last supper, that moment, institution of the priesthood. Did you saw a woman there? No, they were all men's. Why are you trying now to bring women into the priesthood? Something so sacred like that. The sin of Amazonia. Because, oh, there's no men's over there. Believe me, there will be a lot of missionaries that will go over there and dedicate their life to do that. Have you even asked in your own church that? No, no. But you want to change what is here to make it more flexible for everybody. Huh? And then the Pachamama what? Oh, the goddess of earth. Ooh, kumbaya. They got, no. What are we doing? Where's our charity? Where's our light? We just let them do whatever they want. No. That's not how Jesus left that for us. We need to be light in the world. Brothers from John Cush, New York, inviting you to subscribe to the channel. We do this every day in Spanish and English. Some interviews in Spanish and English. The Senecals in Spanish most of the time. Some uh, in, uh, inter in the midday we come with some, some something in English and Spanish. And uh, we try to work and be the light in the world. Every single day. I invite you to subscribe to the channel, give us a like, especially to share, 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 share. I know that sometimes in the Spanish I've been saying this. The people that listen to the English, they are more abused than you guys. <laughs> Keep it up. From Junkers, New York, Efraín Rodríguez Ortiz, may the light of the Lord be with you always. Amen.